Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you guys for all of the nice comments in my last video. I really was going through it when I was filming that and I'm sure it like translated onto like camera. So um, I really appreciate all of like the really kind messages. It really does mean a lot. Um, I have read all of them. I haven't had a chance to respond to them, but I did see all of them and I love you guys so much. So thank you. Um, but yeah, so we have a new collection from ColourPop today, and I'm sure most of you guys will be super excited. We have the new Hocus Pocus collection, and this is round two. Um, so we had one last year, and now we have another one, and I'm super excited because you guys know I love everything Halloween, spooky, everything, so... I was very excited. This collection is launching on Thursday, September 23rd at 10 a.m. PST. I believe codes will work on this. I am not exactly sure. I have not heard anything yet, but if you guys want to use my code, it is just Katrina. It'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. I will update you guys um, whenever I find out if codes will work or not. An eye out for the description box, or um, I'll probably pin it in a comment in the comment section. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and just get into it. As usual, I'll be doing swatches, um, a tutorial, and then giving you guys my review at the end of the videos. I do feel like this is like a little bit of a smaller collection so um, hopefully this video won't be too too long. So let's go ahead and jump into the first product. So the first thing that we have is the eyeshadow palette and this is called Witching Hour. It is so cute. I love the design on it. It's everything. Um, and then you open it up and this is a 12 pan palette. I'll put close-ups on the screen. We do have square pans in this one um, and there are 12 shades and there is a mixture of mattes and metallics. Um, there are no pressed glitters in here. I will say so. I will insert the swatches of the palette right here. Um, there, this palette is, it really does remind me a lot of It's a Mood. Um, so I will put some swatch comparisons of It's a Mood right here as well. So you guys can see, I'll swatch the shades that are like the closest to the ones that are in this Hocus Pocus palette. Um, because obviously It's a Mood is one of the mega palettes, so there's like 30 shades in there. So I will swatch the ones that are closest to the ones in this palette, because I do feel like the shades in here are very similar to the ones in that palette. So, um, I wanted to include those comparisons because I know It's a Mood just came Came out a couple weeks ago so it's pretty it's fairly new if you guys did just pick that up I wanted to just show you guys it next to this palette that way if you do already have that palette you might not need this one I think this might be like my favorite thing out of the entire collection but we have a cutie mark face stamp and this is a little spider face stamp I have it on right here I was so excited when I saw this I was like that they kind of snap like that's really cute um especially for like spooky season like I love this so um it's in that same like packaging like the unicarton and then the actual product itself kind of just looks like a big fat uh black marker um it has a really cute spider on it and it's just like what the little stamps look like then yeah super cute super just like a small little detail I really like that and I think this is like perfect to come out during Halloween so we have three new fresh kiss lip creams and each packaging is a different um, sister so um, that is really cute like the unicorn has a different sister on each one so we have uh, tonight we fly Hello Boys and Calming Circle. So those are the three. Um, Tonight We Fly is like a really pretty, like deep burgundy, purpley shade. Hello Boys, which is a black lipstick, which I was so excited to see this in the collection. I've been wanting ColourPop to come out with a new black lipstick because I think they... They haven't had, I think it was Friday that was the black lipstick. I have, they like discontinued that so long ago. So I was very excited to see that in here. And um, each packaging on the actual lip product itself has like a sister on it as well. And then the last one we have is Calming Circle. And this one is just a really nice nude color, brownie nude. And I love colors like this. So those are the three lip creams. We have a Super Shock Shadow Trio. And this is what the box looks like. Um, again, it has all three sisters. And then you slide it open and you can see all three of the Super Shocks in there. The packaging on the Super Shocks are a really pretty lavender shade, which is right up my alley. Um, and then the actual components themselves have like a moon, a skull, and then an eye on them. Um, so we have Forever Bewitching, which is a really pretty purple shimmer metallic shade. Then we have um, To Be Yours and Beautiful Again. I don't even know how to, like a nice like lid shade. I, I love colors like this. And this one is a um, ultra glitter. Oh, I think they're all ultra glitter formulas. Yeah. And then the last one that we have is Dose. 
thou comprehend <laughs> um and this one's just like a nice metallic gold shade so those are the three super shock shadows in here i'm sure they'll be available individually but this um it also comes in a trio as well the next thing that we have is a handheld mirror and it says it comes in this really cute packaging. It says, I shall always be with you. And it has um, things on the front. Oh, so cute. I love the design on this. And it's actually a really nice mirror. Um, I can see my entire face in it. So it's really nice. And yeah, it's like not too big, not too small. So that is the mirror. And last but not least, we have a candle, which is super exciting. This is um, a soul body candle. And I believe that this will only be available with the full collection. I am not 100% sure on that, but I believe I saw that on their Instagram story or something. I saw it. So I will keep you guys updated with that, but I'm pretty sure this will only be available with the entire collection. This is what the box looks like. It says, um, who dares to light the black flame candle? Really cute packaging on this. And the actual candle itself, I love the candle. Like it is so pretty. This matches like my home decor perfectly. Um, and it just says black flame candle. And on the back, it just says who dares to light the black flame candle. Um, really cute. I love it. And the actual like wax itself is like a dark purple, but I think when you light it, it does look black. The notes in here are sweet and spicy, warm toasted chestnut. And it smells just like fall. I love the way that this smells. This is like my favorite thing in the entire collection for sure. I was so excited. I love candles. So um, yeah, that was super exciting. I love that. I don't have prices of anything yet, so I'm not sure how much like the candle and things like that will be. Um, but when I do find out, I'll leave everything that I find out down below in the description box. So that is everything in this collection. Anyways, uh, this is a look that I came up with today using the collection. So if you guys want to see how I got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts, on this collection then just keep watching okay so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the palette and I don't really know like what look I want to do yet but I think I'm gonna do the purple since the like one of the last looks I did was more like on that teal green side um but I don't know we'll we'll see <laughs> um I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the shade summon us which is that one as my transition um I wish there was like more of a like purpley toned one but it's okay and i am using the mirror it's super cute so i'm just going to throw this in the crease really lightly once i have that down i just it's like really light um i'm gonna go into oh my god one of the shadows fell out <laughs> um i'm gonna go into hello billy and that is like that deeper like plummy purple shade and i'm gonna start off very lightly and just build this color up in the outer corner um since there is no other like deepening shades and the shade is pretty dark I want to just kind of build it up as much as I can so I just took barely anything and I'm just starting to build that up in the outer corner and then with whatever's left I take that into the crease and this is how I get away with using like such dark colors um, when there's like no other like transition shades or anything I just kind of build it up as much as I possibly can before I take like the full intensity of the shadow so it's actually building up pretty nicely so that's good we're taking that a little bit uh, more intensely just so I can get that darker purple now and I'm just focusing this mostly on the outer corner so once I have that purple down this is kind of exactly what I wanted just something like nice and smoky but not super super dark because I think I'm gonna use the black lip so I don't want to do anything like too dark you know i think for the lid i was going to take twist to the bones which is the purple shimmer but i really want to use the like teal shimmer in here which is circle of salt so i'm just going to take that um with my finger and put that on the lid see how it looks hopefully it looks fine if not i'll go in with twist the bones but um yeah that's a really pretty color that is stunning really pretty I actually really like how that looks it's super sparkly too I'm gonna take a little bit of twist the bones which is the purple shimmer and a little bit of twist the bones just like right here just so it blends a little bit easier into the outer corner clean brush and just kind of blend the edge of that out so it's not too harsh but that is so pretty. I really, really like that. Shimmery purple is also really pretty too. It's like really nice and vibrant. Okay, so I think that's what I'm gonna do for the eyes for right now. We will, we will go back to the lower lash line. There are super shocks in this collection, um, but I think that the shimmers in the palette are nicer for this look than the super shocks, but 
I love super shock shadows all the time so um, I'm not gonna use them for this look but they are really pretty uh, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face really quick and then we'll come back and use um, some of the rest of the products the rest of my face is on kind of I use the little spider stamp pen um, this is called spider cutie mark I can never get these things even like when I do it on both sides so let's see oh my god it's literally so cute it's just like a little tiny spider um, I feel like it might end up looking like a little blob afterwards. So we're just going to, I guess I'll put it here. Ah, it's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. It's very cute. I love it. I think I'm just going to do it on one side because I can never get them even. So I swear like when I do it like this, it's like one here and like one over here. <laughs> so cute. Honestly, I kind of have a look in mind now for Halloween that I might use this little pen for. Maybe they snapped. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to use an eyeliner um, for my waterline. I think we're going to go with something maybe purple. Um, I'm going to use Piggy Bank from ColourPop. This is an old liner, um, but it's just like a nice like grape kind of purple. Um, but I feel like it kind of goes with the crease color that we use. So love that. I love I swear, the, the cream gel liners, I feel like do not get enough love, and I love them so much. Let's go ahead and just finish up this lower lash line. I'm going in with Hello Billy, which was the purple shade. And I'm just going to put that on my lower lash line, connect that to the top. You guys know the drill. So I think I'm just going to keep the purple on the lower lash line. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I also like that like the main focus is just like this little piece of teal on the lid, so... I kind of want to just keep the rest of it purple. Then for my inner corner, I am going to use 300 Years, which is this shade right here. It's like a champagne -y color. I'm just going to put that here. My lashes really quick, and then I'll finish up the look with the lip products, which I'm really excited for because I haven't tried the lip creams yet. So um, I'm really, really excited for that. Lashes are on barely. I was struggling. My lashes just like were not cooperating today. Um, but okay, we're going to go ahead and just finish off this look with one of the lip creams. Um, and this is in the shade Hello Boys. So cute. Um, I'm excited to try the formula. I know that they launched like the lip creams a couple weeks ago. I have yet to be able to try them yet. I have them. I just haven't had a chance to try them. But um, I'm excited because I like the other ones, the lip stains. So let's see. Okay, she's black. I'm very picky when it comes to black lipstick. I literally only like like two of them um because so many suck <laughs> so this one right off the bat is very pigmented it's not streaky or anything either i'm honestly very impressed with this black lipstick um i think it looks really nice i do wish it was like a little bit more matte but that's fine i don't really have any like comfortable black lipsticks they're all like pretty matte liquid lips so this is actually really nice i like that I can like rub my lips together and it doesn't take off the product underneath where I can see my lips or anything which is nice and that's an issue that I have with so many black liquid lipsticks is it's either streaky and you have to like keep building it up and then it gets like gross and like you guys know like just gross um or you'll like put your lips together and then like you can start seeing your lips underneath and I hate that so this one does not let me go ahead and just dust off this powder and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this collection so this is the finished look i actually really like how this look turned out um you guys know i love purple and teal together so it's kind of right up my alley give you guys my final thoughts on everything starting off with the palette i do like the packaging i think it's super cute i like the palette like everything performed well um is it my favorite palette ever no and i do think that the shades in here i can probably get from it's a mood which i have an entire video on this with swatches if you guys want to see it i'll put it up here i feel like i can almost exactly create this look with the shades in it's a mood um because it has those purple and teal shades in there like i could probably get the same look using that palette but if you don't have that palette or don't like like the makeup palettes and stuff then i think you should be okay um but yeah i think the palette was really pretty and it performed well i like the colors in here um i do wish that there was maybe a little bit less neutrals in here maybe just more like deeper shades or something i don't know like i just feel like it's missing something and i don't know like i can't put my finger on it um but it is a cute palette i i'm not a huge fan of like the square pans i just feel like when i think of ColourPop palettes i think of like the the round pans you know like i don't know it just doesn't look like ColourPop to me um but yeah i mean other than that it is a cute palette and yeah the packaging on it is cute so um not my favorite palette do i recommend it like yeah if you like the colors like then pick it up and you don't have like it's a mood then i think you should be okay if you do have it's a mood 
you definitely, I don't think you need it, but if you're like a collector, then I would say pick it up, but it's kind of just like personal preference, honestly. I know I didn't use the Super Shocks in the tutorial. I do think that they are pretty. I like the colors in here. Um, I really like that purple one. It's super cute. The actual packaging on the Super Shocks itself are really cute too, because it has like those little um, symbols on them, like the eye and the packaging's cute. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not anything super crazy, but again, if you're like a collector, I feel like it'd be a cute thing to pick up, especially the little trio comes in a cute little box like that. Little spider face stamp is so cute. I definitely recommend it. It looks so adorable. Maybe from like far, it might just look like a little blob of black, but like up close, it's super cute and I feel like it's perfect for Halloween. I feel like you could actually probably do some like Halloween looks with this. I have like something kind of in my mind that I want to do with this and I think it'll be really cute. Um, and there's not very many like spider stamps like this. Like it's always like hearts or stars or anything. So this is super cute. I definitely recommend that. Lip creams, I really do like. I feel like this formula is super comfortable. I was super impressed with the black one specifically just because it's very hard to find a good black lipstick. Do I think this is going to last like all day long? Probably not. But a lot of black lipsticks are either just like one really bad or two they are a matte liquid lipstick formula where some people don't like liquid lipsticks and don't like that drying feeling so if you want like a black lipstick that's actually pigmented this is actually a really good one it's super pigmented it was black like right away it didn't have any streaking problems or anything so definitely really like this and i like the formula of these lip creams the mirror is adorable i really really like it I love the little saying on it it's actually a really nice mirror you can see my entire face in it um i love the little cat ears and i think this is such a cute like little collector's item so i think if you're going to pick up anything the mirror is very cute. Lastly, the candle. I love the packaging. I'm definitely going to put this on my display of everything back here. You guys know I have all my spooky stuff out all year long, but um, I love this. It actually smells really nice. It is um, very like spicy, very like it's giving fall. It's very fall scented and I really like it. I love fall scents. So I really like this and I just love the packaging. I think this might be like my favorite thing out of the entire collection. I'm obsessed with the packaging because it matches like the rest of my room decor so very excited for this and i love seeing this and it just fits perfectly for this collection so that is my review on this collection um i think i might personally like the other hocus pocus collection more than this one um this one it just i don't know like i just feel like there was something missing in here that was kind of giving me like i don't know like i just feel like there's something missing like there it just wasn't giving what it was supposed to give you know um but it was still it's still a really cute collection i definitely know that this will probably sell out people love hocus pocus there's like a freaking cult like following for hocus pocus so if it sells out i'm not surprised um i think the last one sold out too but yeah i definitely think that this is going to be one of those collections people love collecting stuff like this regardless if they like the product or not i think the packaging on everything is really cute um the only thing i was kind of disappointed by was the palette i just wish it was like a little bit maybe like I don't know, I just wish there was like some other colors in there, um, less neutrals or something, more like deeper tones. I don't know. My review on the collection, like I like it, I'll definitely use it, um, but is it like my favorite collection? Not really. Um, there are some really cute things in here like the stamp, the mirror, and the candle, but everything else is kind of like, ah, uh, okay. I am really happy that they finally brought out a black lipstick though because I've been wanting them to do that, um, so that is really exciting. That's my review. Let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts on this collection are. Are you guys going to pick this up? Are you guys going to skip on it? What do you wish you could see from this collection? Because I do feel like there's just something like missing that I just like, I can't like put my finger on what it needs. Um, so let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.